remember your story how you're next to a lady or it was like oh, two yeah, ladies yeah. that were like harassing there's you a for... disgusting man. man you had like a little cough and they just like freaked out yeah. on you i had no freak out but this lady came on the plane dead ass in a full hazmat suit hazmat suit like, <laughs> like i'm not legit... exaggerating yeah but it wasn't yellow it was white if it was yellow i feel like people would have been like that's can't... a little scary because then i'd be thinking like that bitch got it you know what i'm saying like or it's like what the fuck is on this plane you know what I mean? Like, right. what's in what's in the air? I mean, I know we Corona's in the air, but like, what what's in the air? Where like you got to look like that? But she had a <laughs> she had that full suit. She had a full face guard. She had goggles. You think she had to take it off to go through TSA? <laughs> she oh. had to have. She had to have. What or actually, no, they might not have to. She's wearing a belt on underneath the hazmat suit. She's like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but her dog. Didn't have any mask on. Canceled. Can't dogs catch it? I heard no? that in the beginning. They were saying pets could get it. So, but not anymore. Yo, did, shit, did the dog vaccines come shit. up? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, what's the truth? I don't know. But like, so she she walked in, stayed in it the whole time, just sat in her seat. Yeah, and I was trying so hard. There's a couple times where I just, you know, you gotta let some coughs out sometimes, you know, because like clearing your throat, yeah, clearing not your like throat. cough, like I'm sick, like you and, need to right. clear your throat. And throughout the whole flight, there was like two that like I just really I was like, oh my god, I don't, because I didn't want that. This lady was right in front of me. I didn't want her to like freak out on me and then like cause a scene, just like your two ladies yeah. did. So it was just really funny. I just had to really hold it back. And and it's such an awkward time, too, like, where if you sneeze in public. It feels illegal. Yes. It's, yeah. like, such, like, a you have to, like, let it be known. Like, it's it's not a, it's not a corona cough. Mm -hmm. It's not a corona sneeze. Like, yeah. when people, like, just give you that, like, even if it's just, like, a little. <clears throat> you're, you're a disgusting man look. You're a disgu disgusting man. You know and when you have, like, a cough attack and, like, you know people around you are tired of it and you're, you start to do, like, the. <laughs> holding it in <laughs> or you do the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's almost worse yeah. you sound like you're struggling <laughs> I always expect like in public for them to be like that scene in uh, Monsters Inc we got a 2319 yeah. we got a 2319 yeah. oh, right, right. <laughs> in the yellow suits yeah that was your lady that movie that movie is pretty much happening right now some people are thinking that Monsters Inc was ahead of its time well yeah it was incredible but that it's basically an ode to like Pizzagate and like Adrenochrome. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was connected to that. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what? That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know what Adrenochrome is, um, but basically it's this theory that a lot of elite, high politicians, very wealthy people, and uh, just people of power are drinking the blood of a child that has been basically scared to death um, and they'll harvest their blood while the adrenaline is pumping through them like when they're like terrified what um so they'll drink it and basically like it's the fountain of youth did you see that clip um i just saw this clip on tiktok but it was a clip of um steve oh, what's it what's the guy's name family feud steve, steve harvey. harvey steve harvey there's a clip of a lady um uh, showing a product and she was like it's made out of uh, human blood, or just, like it was a word that right. was. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't be in products. It was like, uh -huh. it was, like I forgot what the. I wish I could have it up so I know exactly. I can tell you exactly what I heard, but he. It was a word where she brought up, and he was just like, made out of what? Like it made him like question it. Yeah. And she, she's like, this is Oprah's favorite product. Um, it, uh, it makes. It, it's a product that keeps her uh, youthful. <laughs> blah blah blah. And I remember she like put it all over his hand, and then she. And then she said it was made out of foreskin. It was like, right, it's yeah, made yeah. out of foreskin. And he's like, it's made out of what? And you put that shit all over my hand? Like, I remember it was like a, like, it was just a really weird. Dude, there's a lot of weird stuff coming out. Like, there was a, an interview on the Ellen show with Sandra Bullock. And they were, like, talking about something. And she was like, yeah, I have this. She got, like, stuff on her face, whatever, to, like, stay looking young. And they were like, w w what is it? And she like hesitated for a second and made it seem like she was making a joke. She was like, it's, uh, it's, it's foreskin. Like making it seem like it was something like completely unbelievable. Can we play the clip actually? Mm -hmm. Um, and then, and we're cutting our foreskin <laughs> off. Like when they give birth to us, why are we cutting off something that's going to keep us youthful? Cause they're making goddamn money off of our 
It's a scam. Our PP skin. I fucking knew it. I, I've been known since I was a baby. I knew that shit. Like, why are they cutting it off so early? Yeah. Let me let me have the choice to it's cut for, it off. I it's want for cleanliness. It, yeah, right. They're selling our freaking foreskin. This has become a conspiracy podcast. So this is the clip with uh, Sandra Bullock through micro needling. Um, it's like a little roller with these, some of you, I, mean, I think many of you know it, and it pushes through the skin and ruptures the collagen and then boosts it. You look like a burn victim for a day, but then it's, but then it pushes the What are you pushing into the skin, Sarah? Sarah. Sandra? Sarah? Sandra. <laughs> Carrie? <laughs> what are you pushing into the skin? Well, you push in whatever the facialist would like to insert into your pores. But what is it? What's it is it? an extraction from a, um, a, a, um, a piece of skin uh, that came from a young person um, far, far away, and they somehow figured out how to extract... It's foreskin from a Korean baby. I... It's like... It's... Ellen you can't. I feel like as she's up. as she's talking about it, she, you could tell she's she's what like doesn't in, want to but say. But Ellen it. also is like pushing out. She's like, like what tell you, us what it's tell what us what it is. Yeah. Say say what I, it but is. But I, I also feel like Ellen is like. She, like she she obviously knows what it is i feel yep, like this she is my opinion yeah. and she's just this is just like a game to her it's like come yeah, on right. sandra say yeah, it it's like we do we do that we do that to each other all the time every time like you're talking about something and i know what it is and you're like go come on he say it. i feel like they're doing that it's it's weird it's weird but does it work i don't know in the gay community we have a different meaning of penis facial <laughs> 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 that's why kenny's skin is flawless look at him go oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like when you think about like the fucked up shit that's going on, it's not seeming too far off. But basically, people were saying that Monsters Inc. is kind of like uh, another way of showcasing that. So b they would harvest the screams of a scared child, and that's what gives the the life, the energy. It's crazy because why like, does well, everything have to have a hidden meeting? Why can't we just be entertained and that's have it? Have you seen the Disney movie meetings with yes, the penises that's in the what castle? I'm yeah. Everything's got to be something. Bunch of perverts trying to put penises. Grow in up! Everything. Grow up! <laughs> I feel like it's like it's like adults like just uh, throwing jokes out there, like oh haha, ha, look at what yeah. we can do and we can get away with. It's like I it's have weird. the uh, the original uh, Little Mermaid VHS where there's a penis on the. Uh, do the, you really? Yeah. yeah, I have it. At home. It's got to be worth something. Kenny noticed it the first time he watched it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm okay now. <laughs> Thanks, little mermaid. <laughs> and that's why Ariel is my favorite princess. <laughs>